Hello folks, welcome back to the studio. I have a helmet with me from the company Arai, a very trusted name in the industry. This is the Arai Concept XE, and I feel particularly qualified on this occasion to talk about what it's like to live with because of its predecessor, the Arai Rapide, which is the name it used to go by in the UK. It looks the same, it fits the same, it weighs the same, and actually has the same starting price, which is really nice to see, and very often isn't the case with an upgrade. So these come in at a price of £459.99 as of the making of this video. That is for the standard colorways like this one here. That begs the question then, what has actually changed with this helmet? It crucially comes down to one key point, and that is this sticker on the back. This now passes ECE 2206 safety standards, which are safer, stricter safety standards, and obviously means you will be even safer on your bike, which is never a bad thing. Another difference for this year, though, is that they come in some new colorways. Dare I say, nicer than the originals. Definitely catch my eye a little bit more. Uh, in particular, I would say React Blue looks really, really great in the flesh. Looks great in photos as well, obviously. Or Backer Green actually looks quite good too. Visually, though, from the outside, not an awful lot has changed from the previous version. And I can illustrate that in actual fact because I can get in the same color, in fact, the previous version here, and you can see that visually there are no differences in terms of the design. You've still got that kind of squared off chin, quite an aggressive look, at least that's how I interpret it, but I really like that. It's got obviously quite a retro style, but another important thing to point out is there has been a slight increase in shell size. These are both mediums, but you can probably even tell from the camera there that there is a bit of a size difference between them. It is marginal, and obviously to make a helmet safer, generally speaking, you do need to make it a little bit thicker. I would say it's still within acceptable parameters. And they offer it in three different shell sizes, which does mitigate that increase a little bit. How were they able to keep so much of the original formula whilst meeting these new safety standards? The answer is that Arai's quality testing and quality assurance has always been of the highest level. They hand make these themselves, they put them through their own safety testing. They're not content with the standard across the world. They like to have their own in-house testing, which of course these helmets meet as well. Something of an added benefit is that it is also ACU approved. So you can use this for racing if you want. I don't know how many of these you'll see on the track, but it still has that accreditation. It's made using a peripherally belted e-complex laminated construction. They use a multi-fiber and resin shell, and it is particularly tough. There's a bit of a debate in the industry whether it's better to go for a harder outer shell or to go for a slightly soft outer shell that deforms a little bit more in the event of a crash. Array maintain it's just the way they like to do things to go for as hard an outer shell as they possibly can and to allow the impact absorption to happen with the EPS foam liner on the inside. It also has a particularly round look and profile. You will notice from the side how different the visor mechanism is to some other helmet brands. Uh, and there is an argument to be said, some people will say that it is a little bit more fiddly than some others, and those people are partially right in specific circumstances, and that's just when you're changing the visor, essentially. If it's something you're gonna do regularly, like every day, then yes, that is a little bit fiddly, but if you're just gonna stick the tinted visor on for the summer when it gets a bit brighter and the days get longer, and then change back to your clear visor for the winter, less of an issue, and that's generally how I tend to use my Rapide. But you can see that you have this bare look. It's different to the rest of Arai's helmets and it doesn't have the outer shell, it's more exposed. But you can see there that you have these screws on the outside too, so it keeps it a little bit more secure. It is obviously a very safe visor. You basically just unscrew those, take off the visor, and then just reattach your visor to that. We have an aftermarket tinted visor on this one in particular. The other thing I often hear is about the opening mechanism, which I think I disagree with because it is something you very quickly get used to, but it's on the left side there. You can open it slightly if you want, just pop that and it will allow some airflow through to allow you to breathe a little bit more freely. When it is closed, it is nice and secure and watertight, crucially. But then again, just open that there. And then if you just follow your finger along as you click that mechanism, basically. It's very easy to just continue pushing with your thumb and it opens the visor. Out of the box, you'll get the VAS V clear visor, as I say, and that comes with pin lock included, which is like double glazing for your visor, which stops it from misting up and does a really good job of that. 
Another thing I definitely appreciate when living with mine is the quality of the venting. The airflow is great on this helmet and it doesn't look like you have an awful lot of venting there because you don't have anything on the top of the helmet that keeps the design nice and clear, but you have these brow vents on the visor which allow the airflow through the visor into the vents over the top of the shell itself and the top of your head, most importantly, and out these Venturi style exit vents at the back. So you have two vents there at the top and then there's actually this vent around your neckline as well. And like I said, that does a really good job of channeling that air through. And then of course you've got an openable or closable vent at your chin also. Continuing the quality to the inside, you will see that they use a double D-ring closure system around your neck because it is the most secure. You have these emergency tabs, so the emergency services can get your helmet off you that much quicker by just pulling out the cheek pieces. It has a hypoallergenic and fully removable internal liner that is very comfortable on. It has pockets around your ears if you do want to couple this with an intercom system. It also offers a particularly universal fit, which is very impressive. I'm sure by now you'll know trying on helmets yourself or with other people you know that ride, there are a variety of head shapes and that often dictates which helmet brands you gravitate towards. We have that same bone of contention in the office. Certain people prefer certain brands and it's very rare we'll find a helmet that everyone agrees upon, but this is one of them. We all get on really well with the fit of Arai. I think a big part of the reason they are so comfortable is because they have their own facial contour system, meaning that basically the cheek pieces are pre-curved or contoured to the shape of a face. Unlike some other brands that just go for a flat cheek pad that may well break in over time, but isn't as instantly comfortable as you'll find with the Arai. You can also change out the cheek pieces and get thicker or thinner ones if you need. And there we go. That is the review of the new Arai concept. XE. Hopefully my experience with the Rapide has helped in some way. You can let us know in the comments section any questions you may well have and you can find these using the links in the description and I'll see you soon.